Thank you. Hi, me. Hello. Hey, I'm so, sorry. So, hey, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today. Am I clear? Yes. Can I, can I, can everybody hear? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yep. We can hear you. Okay, thank you. So again, thanks so much for joining us today. So as most of us are aware, today is the same day last year when we launched Proof Humanity and UBI. So yay. So for those who are new and don't know it yet, the project is a collaboration and partnership between Clara's and Democracy Earth Foundation. So since it's been a wild year, I and the other active community members just felt you know it's needed to be celebrated even with a simple virtual gathering like this. So feel free to turn on your videos if you want to share you know, a celebratory champagne like Lou had um, suggested in our group chat. So, and of course, I'm really glad that we're joined by a powerhouse guest speakers who are none other than our leaders and official mission board members of our human DAO. So Federica Ask is a co-founder and CEO of Claras. Santi Siri, the UBI lead developer and creator of UBI, UBI's Universal Basic Income Token, and co-founder of Democracy Earth, Clement, co-founder and CTO of Claras, and Justin Callen, CTDAO core team member. So thanks again for accepting my invitation, uh, dear mission board members, and for being generous of your time. So why don't we hear it first from the creator of Proof Humanity, Clement Lesage. Hi everyone. So thank you for coming, and I think it's quite uh, quite good to see that much people and project being successful. I think we got around 15,000 communication, and uh, yeah, like it's we got it um, a year ago, but obviously the work started uh, way before. Uh, really, uh, started uh, basic idea started when I was in Bali in 2019. <laughs> So it had a, it had a long time. Um, it took almost one to two years until we got the first release. Uh, we sometimes people working, sometimes we had no no resources on, on it anymore. Uh, and uh, finally, we, we launched uh, a year ago, um, and that was a really good surprise uh, because I think that's one of the most successful projects that we launched in terms uh, of user, in terms of uh, of impact on daily life of users, as you know, a uh, lot of people are getting UBI, uh, and we <clears throat> keep getting stories of people where UBI really impacted their, their daily life. Uh, and yeah, so I I wish uh, for the project to to continue like that, uh, and I wish also to get more people uh, working on the project, uh, as um, for now it's mainly done by the volunteers or more by the by the cooperative. Um, but if some of you want to like uh, really join, jump the step, jump the, the step, and work full time on Pro Humanity, uh, like the DAO is still searching for people to do that. So that, that and maybe the time. I think you now you can see that it's from Pro Humanity is there to stay. So yeah, like you already join us in Pro Humanity. You now if someone want to join us in building Pro Humanity, they are very welcome. Hmm. <clears throat> Clément, you, you are the mastermind of, of the crypto economic system. I mean, I think that you should tell a bit more about how you had this idea of how the system should work. Uh, how, I mean, what was the inspiration of previous work done by other projects? And, and yeah, how did you come up with the idea? How, how did you think about the vouching? Um, tell us a bit more about, I, I don't even know all the stories. So tell us a bit more about how, yeah, how you came up with this. Yeah, so I had followed the uh, Humanity DAO, uh, which was a project a bit similar. It was also a TCR, uh, but it was a TCR where every token holder votes on everything. And at first it was quite promising, but then they were just looking at Twitter profile. Like, you did not have any video, the only info was Twitter profile. So, quite fast, uh, it went into crisis uh, because a bunch of people ask to be added to the registry, but people didn't know if they were real or not, uh, because they just had their Twitter profile. So the project quite fast changed from humanity DAO to where all humans could register to cool 
crypto people down, let's say, let's say it like that, were the only accepted people who were already known in the crypto space. So they had a significant prediction of the scope of the project, uh, and the project died a few times after. Um, but that, that was still interesting because they gave, they gave the idea of making a, a TCR um, civil resistance system. Uh, then we saw some other projects which are still there. Um, so you saw, we saw Bright ID, uh, which was in this case using uh, vouching, where you vouch for people. Uh, I thought that the idea of vouching was quite interesting. But I also saw uh, one of the limitations of, of this kind of system, uh, which is that you don't really have uh, a, bool, a boolean where someone is in the system or someone is not. So for a lot of uh, applications, like UBI is an example, uh, NFC airdrop, for example, you need to know if someone is registered or not. Uh, like just giving a score is not going to be very, uh, very relevant. And specifically, if this score depends on who is with you. So you also took the idea of social watching, uh, but instead of using it to compute the score, uh, the idea was to use it to make it harder to attack the registry because you could not make any submission you want. Because if you could make any submission you want, if you had a lot of money, even if you had like just 10% chance of your submission getting in, well, in this case, if you have a fake submission to make it, you just make 10 fake submissions. And okay, you use the deposit nine times out of 10, but you will still get one extra profile. Uh, so that was not really, uh, really good. That's why we, we came up with the idea of uh, removing people who vouch for, um, for attackers. Uh, and I think we, we managed to get a quite secure system uh, for now, I will see the biggest problem we got is not a problem we, we, we thought about in the, in the beginning, uh, but which is a, is, a, is a problem, which is a sub puppeting where basically, like, it doesn't break civil resistance. It's still one human, one vote, or one human, one stream of UBI, or one human, one NFT drop. Uh, but um, you get basically human which get paid to give their account to others. Uh, and... Yeah, like if, if we could also sub that together, that would also be that would also be great. Even if we don't, civil resistance is still very good. <laughs> now, civil resistance plus people being control of their account will even be better. Uh, and yeah, so that's the, the project is already like ongoing. Like we um, we are working on making a version uh, on, uh, on the chain uh, to solve the gas cost issues. Uh, and uh, yeah, like any any other ID, you have other projects working on your BI. Uh, well, you have, uh, working on Proof of Humanity, so you have UBI, uh, you have the team of uh, U UBI, yeah. different spelling, uh, making a marketplace using UBI as a, as a, as a currency. Uh, you no. have uh, Gitcoin, or social voting. How oh, many? Um, is... Yeah, please mute, mute the mic, please. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Decoin for um, uh, for uh, matching uh, of grants. Uh, we had the first NFT airdrop with like uh, the first civil resistant NFT airdrop with um, artistical intelligence. Uh, and do I even? Oh yeah, like oh, I forgot the name, but you also have a, a social um, social platform putting some uh, pro humanity verify badges. So yeah, like proof of humanity, right? Is, is, we are not just creating a, a project. The goal is to create a, an ecosystem uh, around the project. And a lot of new possibilities are often to ensure a civil resistance. What was the name? A proof of integrity, right, Clement? The, the project that you meant, the social platform? Uh, no, no, yeah, proof of integrity, but you're also another um, social, social media, uh, no, so, social platform. Where they put uh, some uh, badge, if someone in the chat so remembers uh, this name because it's a bad for. Posta. Uh, you have Posta, but. Oh, Posta, yeah, yeah Posta. Done... But Posta is more a proof of concept, but you had one where uh, you have way more people working on it. Uh... Anyway, uh, I will come back to you. I can come back to you on Telegram with the project after. Orbis the club. Yeah, that's, that's, that. that's it. Yes, yeah, so thank you everyone. And if uh, you want to continue, like uh, whoever is leading the call, I guess me.
Yes, thank you, Clement. Thanks so much for telling us the background of how it started and why why you have came up with the proof of humanity protocol. Um, I think maybe Santi will not be able to join us right now, but maybe later. So uh, please, Federico, uh, please continue. Thank you. Yeah, I thank you, Nini. Um, I mean, I don't know what could I add to what Clement already said. Um, I mean, this is a, a really exciting new project. Uh, it's uh, something that, um, well, it was kind of tried before, but I don't think that previous attempts reached the scale that Proof of Humanity has now. Um, and also, I think that um, one important thing that we saw in Proof of Humanity is that it kind of um, started to uh, reach like non core crypto users, let's say. I mean, a big part of um, uh, I mean of the users are um, not people who were already uh, like uh, used to crypto, and so I think it was also a really interesting way to onboard people who well uh, were not crypto to crypto because a lot of people learned what MetaMask is after they well first um, had to make their profile right. So. I think that Vitalik at some point mentioned that um, that projects like like this, and especially if you give um, uh, an incentive like UBI, um, can be a way to onboard like millions of people into into crypto, right? And so this is something I I want. I mean, I was not thinking about that when we launched Proof of Humanity um, on the UBI. Um, so that's a, a really interesting, unexpected, good thing for for me. Um, the ecosystem is growing quite quite fast, and uh, also. What's that? Yeah. Uh, if you if you don't want me to speak, just tell me. I mean, you don't put music on top of me. <laughs> I'm joking. Can you, can you can you mute all the other people who are not supposed to be speaking right now? Thank you. <laughs> um. So yeah, that um, yeah, the, the ecosystem is, is is like growing very fast. I'm very happy about that. Um, we see other people, uh, other people trying to well, I mean, imitate what proof of humanity is. Um, trying to do projects which are quite similar to what proof of humanity is, and with a, a few tweaks on the mechanism design. So which is a really great. Um, sign, you know, if you are doing something of value, you will expect to, like, to try to, to copy what you're doing, right? So that's awesome. Uh, it's a great validation. Um, and I think that we, well, we have been always working with within the boundaries of um, the first mechanism design that well, Clement already explained how this came up. Um, and I'm, I'm sure there are lots of improvements. Uh, just this morning, uh, as well, uh, Clement mentioned before, I mean, I was discussing with someone about the farming uh, of profiles um, issue. Um, and it's not that easy to decide what is actually farming because, yeah, I mean, maybe going, we can all agree that going to a train station and paying people to make a video for you and then you controlling their account without them even knowing what was the video for. Well, like we can all agree that's farming, but there are like more subtle situations that um i mean uh, it's uh, you know if you control the account for all of your families that's are you farming your family profiles or, or not um what if you are not giving them the ubi they are earning <laughs> or yeah so there are lots of, of things that i mean should be um resolved thought um of uh, but you know that you, you cannot like um figure everything out at the beginning. So a lot of this we have been learning uh, as we went and as more people started joining the, the platform. Um, and I think that, yeah, we will make a lot of learnings. Um, I think the Gnosis um, chain deployment is going to be an extremely important uh, step uh, into the direction of making this massive uh, because it will like cut down costs dramatically. Um, I mean, we have been trying to cut down cost uh, in everything we've done. I mean, for example, like reducing the amount of, of jewelers uh, like to one um, so we can um, 
yeah, make it more affordable for everyone to make a submission. And with the grocery chain, I think the estimations uh, for how much it would cost uh, submission is like uh, in the dozens of, of dollars. Uh, because of the reduced gas costs and all that, right? So I'm really excited. This first year has been very important for mean, proof, making the proof of concept and making the first learnings and the first iterations. Um, yeah, and moving forward, uh, I think this has the potential to grow exponentially as we make so much adjustments in the mechanic design. Um, yeah, and reduce the, the fees, right? So I'm really, really excited. Um, and I'm also really honored to be sharing this experience with all of you guys. Us too, we're really excited for what's next for Proof Humanity and UBI for this coming year. Thank you, Federico. So right now, as we wait for Santi and Justin Kellan, why don't we watch together he is sometimes testimonies or messages from our community members. So let's see. Is there a way that you can turn on the sound? Okay. Maybe it's muted. Or we can, or I guess it's better yeah, if we start. Yeah. Sorry, guys. My mic, my mic was muted.
Hi, this is Amor Vitalis. Um, basically, in July of last year, I signed up for the UBI profile in Proof of Humanity, and I was homeless at that time. Um, and I didn't have a place to live or to stay or to sleep. So um, I trusted this project, and I hoped that in some months I could rent something thanks to UBI. And indeed, it happened in December 2021. I exchanged my first UBIs and I changed them for money and I bought food, I bought some medicines that I needed and I rented a place to live. So UBI is a solid project. It's real. It's the real deal. So I recommend everybody to check Proof of Humanity, UBI, Santiago City and the projects of decentralized identities and decentralized democracies. Check them out. They're the future of humanity. The future is now. Amor Vitalis saying thank you. Morning po. Ang testimony ko po about sa inyo ni Kai. Ang laking tulong po siya sa akin, sa aking pamilya, lalo na po sa akin, hindi lang sa na pere. Sa UBI ko po nakukuha yung ibang pangangailangan po namin, ang aking mga anak. Malaking tulong po si UBI sa amin dahil kapag budget na budget na po at wala na ibang mapagkunan, Sa UBI lang po namin nakukuha yung agarang solusyon. Kaya pasalamat. Malaking pasalamat po ang UBI kasi nandyan po siya. Proof Humanity is the first project that made me realize that Web3 can regenerate the world. Whenever I'm in a conversation with people outside the Web3 ecosystem, they usually think that uh, Web3 or crypto is just a get-rich-quick thing. But when I tell them about the real value Proof of Humanity and UBI are providing, they are really impressed about it. And they usually do some research about the project. Hello, community. This is Lupo, and this is my experience with Proof of Humanity. I joined the project not more than five weeks ago. I'm very, very new. And uh, I'm pretty surprised about all the things that I have found here. I cannot say that Ubi has changed my life um, in such a big way since it's a very short time to, to really have a, a, a kind of impact in my life. But one of the first things that I uh, read when I enter in the uh, groups of Proof of Humanity was uh, that this project was far beyond uh, Ubi. 
And um, I didn't know, and of course I entered because of the UBIs at the beginning, but then I discovered what a DAO is or a decentralized autonomous organization. And I have learned that everyone here has one vote. It doesn't matter if it's even the creator of the, of the project or if you are the owner of the uh, a big company or if you are the creator of uh, Ethereum as a, as a Vitalik and Buterik. Everyone has one vote and this is a very, very interesting idea. It's very democratic. It's um, very interesting to, to interact. So um, I would like to, first of all, invite to all of you that have not joined yet uh, the project to join it and to discuss in the groups and to understand how the group uh, works. And second, I would like to thank to all the current members of the um, of Proof of Humanity because I have discovered, I have learned, and I have um, shared so many things with uh, with all of you in these weeks that I'm pretty looking forward for more and more. So thank you so much for everything and see you in there. Goodbye. Okay, um, so um, that's really emotional for me to see all, all these people like uh, being into the community and uh, yeah, having all this impact from from the work we started one year ago. Well, actually, more than one year ago. One year ago was the official launch. <clears throat> um, unfortunately, uh, Santi could not make it. I mean, he was going to take a plane, so the um, uh, logistics didn't work very well today. But I'm sure he can come um, at some other point on, on, on another call and and say, yeah, I mean, what he thinks um, about uh, this first year of um, of this uh, project. So from my my end, I mean, I'm really happy to to be working on this. This is, um, I think, a very big uh, part of the infrastructure for building Web three and proof of humanity and civil resistance registries are going to have like a huge impact in lots of applications including a very big one which is um, decentralized social media uh, so yeah i'm really happy as i said um uh, and yeah i'm also seeing how ubi is changing many people's lives um it's also very uh it's, it's, it's very nice for me to see and hopefully more people will start making transactions in ubi i mean um, there's already a marketplace being built uh, that will accept ubi for for transactions and um, as fees go down also you know um, web3 is going to take off uh so yeah i um, just wanted to say this this final words for for my end i don't know maybe Clemo, you have anything else to to say before we close this yeah yeah that's it was uh, I, I didn't see the testimony before the, the call, so I was a bit uh, touching. So, so thanks everyone for, for the testimony and support. And uh, yeah, so thanks everyone for coming. And uh, yeah, like still, if, if someone wants to, to work uh, uh, in Proof of Humanity, perhaps as a full time job, or maybe just uh, uh, as a hobby, don't, don't hesitate uh, to ask. We really need more people to, to work. Uh, so thanks, thanks, thanks for everyone. Cheers. Thank you all, guys, and well, see you on Telegram. Bye, bye. Bye, thanks. Thanks everyone for joining, and um, see you again on the next calls as well. Thank you so much for coming.
बाय गाइस